All right, Mr. Telefero TV. All right, Chief Keith has notoriously been known to keep the gas on him. The stanky, the loud, the packed, the panky, hanky, wank, whatever you want to call it. Chief Keith has had it on him, notoriously known for keeping it on him. And um, this is just another incident where he probably was so high, he didn't even realize he had it on him in the airport. Chief Keith was busted at an airport in South Dakota um, early Monday morning. That'll be early this morning. He was getting on a plane. Authorities discovered that the rapper had the weed on him. He actually had four blunts and an edible in the backpack. Um, the thing that kind of probably threw it off was the, the, the edibles wrapper contained like 200 milligrams of TAC. Right, and that just gave it away for law enforcement in the airport. If you don't know drug talk, you would understand. You wouldn't understand how much that is. But if you do know drug talk, you would understand how that was an easy giveaway. Um, Chief had about an, an ounce of bud. He was cuffed, booked for possession of marijuana, and um, he's still being held right now. For those who don't know, the checkered past of Chief Keith and drugs. Out in Miami a couple months ago, he had just got caught up in a jam out in his green Lamborghini. Um, but to see Chief in another incident, it to me, it, it's one of those cases where, you know, this nigga gonna always have that dope on him. He gonna always have it on him regardless. Um, you think after a couple of incidents where he gets arrested and locked up, it would stop him or alter him or, or help him move differently. But like I started this video, Chief's probably so damn high, he doesn't even realize he has it on him. Now, a rep from Chief is saying that it was completely an accident. He simply forgot he had it on him. Um, and that's the story that they're going to stick with. I don't know how far this would go. Honestly, Chief, with the big stuff, like with the gun charges, Chief has been, been pretty low. Not the lowest you could be, but he hadn't been in that much trouble yet. The one incident with the producer... Um, but Chief with the gun stuff has been pretty low. Why do I bring that up? Because really the gun stuff um, could be the big thing. And like these little dope charges could be things that just put Chief Keef over the top. I think he'll be fine. Airports really don't play about those type of things. And the fact that this brother went through the airport in their eyes with it on him thinking he would get through. They're probably going to try to throw the helmet at him. I think he'll be fine in the grand scheme of things once he gets out of jail. Um, I don't think any serious time will be behind this. He, he's out there in Sioux Falls, though. I know they don't play that shit out there. So we got to be careful, cognizant of that. Um, but if I'm Chief Keith, I mean, th there's nothing I can say. Remember, I, I, I came on a couple weeks ago when Kodak got out of jail, and I was like, man, Kodak's on, like, strike two and a half. I can't really rock with him if he continues to make the same mistakes. I've been past that point with Chief. Like, he, what am I even talking to at this point? The brother's going to keep the dope on him. It doesn't seem like he's learned from his mistakes. I'm just happy that the brother ain't been in jail for some, some more serious shit. All right? I'm actually a Chief Keep fan. Finally Rich was the project of what, what was that, 2012, 2013 for me. But I also understand that you're talking to a damn tree when you're trying to get this brother to stop, put down the weed, or at least move with the, the weed in more friendly areas and places not like no damn airports or in a damn green Lamborghini as if, if, you, as if you're not going to stick out in Miami, Chief Keith arrested, currently still being detained out in um, Sioux Falls, out there in South Dakota. Talk to me in the comment box below. Are you sick of Chief Keith getting caught up in drug-related charges, or do you care at all at this point? Is Chief Keith is he musically relevant to you guys in 2017? I want to know. Talk to me in the comment box below. Who's the last Chief Keith pro project you listened to? Thank you for the time, love, support. All right, Chief. We'll probably get out soon, and I'll come back with a follow-up story on it as well. Salute. Subscribe to my channel. I'm out. If you're looking to book me for an interview video or by phone, if you're looking to have your music or your skill featured on my daily podcast, if you're looking to book me for a speaking engagement to help motivate some kids, if you're looking to have me rock some of your clothing to help promote your brand, make sure you hit me up at booking at Again, that's booking at